in between 2010 and 2018, you dedicated just 1% of your long-term investments to sources of low-carbon energy. And now you're doing very little to make that up. Well, I, I think that number you quote is a, is a global figure. Uh, it's not the UK, I would say. What in is the, the UK? In the UK, I don't have that figure to hand, but what I would point to... to the EAC with not that figure We don't publish. We hand. don't publish and we don't disclose country by country uh, investment figures. But, but what your, we do your disclose... your advertising would tell a different story, wouldn't it? So if consumers are looking to purchase fuel, your advertising tells a different story, a very different story. Well, I, I would point to we, who, who has the largest public charging network in the UK today. Sorry. You're still committed to fossil fuel for the next 14 years at least plus, despite your own targets, which were based on your own metric and your own, uh, your own tests rather than the Paris Climate Agreement. You do say, though, that you won't change your underlying business operating plans unless these are also in step with the movement towards net zero emissions within society and amongst Shell customers. That's giving you a get out free jail card, isn't it? I think you're quoting Ben, and in fact, uh, subsequently, in his last uh, update, he has removed the instep and replaced that with we will be a pace setter.